Hi everyone, Big Mac here. Um, I thought today I'd do something a little different. Today I'm going to tell you about the best fish sandwich. Why fish sandwiches? Because, well, you know, there's a number of reasons. But right now it's because, uh, right now we're a little bit before Easter, so it's the um, Catholic season of Lent. So if you're not Catholic, basically, um, you go Fridays without eating meat, you know. And, you know, depending on your parish and stuff, you know, certain other days. Um, but basically, yeah, no meat, but fish is totally fine. So, you know, if you go to a fast food restaurant and you decide, you know, I want to eat something, but all there is is chicken or beef or, you know, what have you, there at least there's a fish sandwich. So, that's why uh, fish sandwiches are always popping up around this time of year, where there are always ads for fish sandwiches around now. Um, also, because fish is good for you, it has some good qualities in it, and when you eat it, it looks like you're a hippie, and some girls like that. Um, so, how well am I determining the best sandwich? Um, basically, I went to a lot of restaurants, probably way too many for the few weeks that we've had already, but, you know, I got a fish sandwich from each, and I kind of, you know, weighed the goods and bads of them. Uh, excuse me, I went to six restaurants uh, here, as you can see, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Jack in the Box, Carl's Jr., and Arby's. Um, most of them have locations nationwide, so I figured I, that's why I would choose those ones. I also tried to include a, uh, a local restaurant, but they messed up on my order, so that one got disqualified. So, how are we going to be judging these? Um, basically, I split it into two categories, uh, presentation and taste. Um, I both gave them equal weight. For presentation, I'm just talking about, you know, how it looks. Um... You know, does it look like a good fish sandwich? And then, of course, the other half is, does it taste like a good fish sandwich? You know, I'm looking for, when I think of a fish, a good fish sandwich, I want something that has nice crisp lettuce, you know, a nice crunchy uh, filet shell, and maybe, you know, maybe not a fancy bun, but, you know, some kind of, like, little seasoning of speckles or something. I don't know. But that was my idea of, like, the perfect fish sandwich. Uh, things that I'm not taking into consideration, the cost of each sandwich, because, um, you know, different places will have different prices for stuff, and all the ones that I got were between three and four bucks, so they were all, you know, reasonably priced in that sense. Um, no tartar sauce. None of my sandwiches had tartar sauce on them because I don't like tartar sauce. Sorry about that, so I know this is going to affect some people's, excuse me, this is going to affect some people's ratings of their sandwiches, but um, I did not take that into consideration, nor did I take, you know, the combo packages like with fries and a drink, you know, which fries go best with, you know, which particular sandwich. Uh, I didn't care for that, just the sandwich. So, uh, these were my nominees. Uh, starting off, the old-fashioned McDonald's filet of fish I actually uh, cheated a little bit on this one and got a double filet of fish so it actually had two little, uh, two fish patties. Um, cute little box. I like that. Um, these pictures that I found, I just found them online. Um, of course, the weird thing, or the special thing about the filet fish filet fishes The filet fish still. But the poor old filet fish is that it has cheese on top. Some people think that's gross. It turns out that it's awesome. Uh, and again, the fish, it tastes like fish. So it tastes like what you think a fish sandwich should taste like. And that was my expectations of McDonald's at the beginning. So, you know, I, I saw this as like my benchmark, like my standard when I'm going into this. So let's see how that compares at the end. <clears throat> the, B, the BK Big Fish was indeed a big fish sandwich. Um, the bun was a little fancy. Uh, lettuce was good. Um, fish was okay. It, it tasted pretty good. But it was definitely not that kind of crisp... Uh, texture that I was going for. Uh, next was the Wendy's Premium Fish Filet Sandwich. Um, again, this one was actually pr pretty good tasting. It, it tasted like fish, which, you know, I thought was actually pretty awesome. Uh, it also had that little special bun, but the, season, the sandwich itself was kind of on the small size, and they gave me one little square of floppy lettuce, so I did not like that at all. But the filet I did like, that one was very crunchy, and like I said, it's the fishiest fish sandwich that I had. 
the Jack in the Box fish sandwich. Um, basically, they took um, their fish and chips entree, and then you put two of the little thingies in a bun. Ta-da! Fish sandwich. So in that sense, I was not necessarily impressed, but the fillets were very crisp. So was the lettuce. But the only problem was, since there were two fillets, it was hard to eat because I could hold one, but then the other one would fall out. So it actually lost a little bit of points for that. Um, the Carl's Jr. Carl's Catch. Um, the same thing like the Jack in the Box. It has two fish fillets, um, you know, from their fish and fish fish and chips entree. But the way they popped it all together was like, here's a burger. I mean, a fish sandwich. And I had this last week, and I do not remember how it tasted at all. So, I mean, I don't remember anything good, anything bad. It was like, I ate a fish sandwich. So it's okay, I guess. And then, lastly, Arby's. Arby's even has a fish sandwich, even though, you know, they're just known for their roast beef and stuff. Uh, the filet was really big. Um, the lettuce was shredded, which... You know, they had a lot of it on there, so it kind of was a deterrent from from the fish itself. But, I don't know. I think they did it that way, so that way every bite would have at least a little bit of lettuce. That's just my thinking and my interpretation of it. And it was really tasty, but I just found it, again, a little mushy, like in the BK. So, here we go. Drum roll. Final scores. Um, again, like I mentioned, the presentation and the taste uh, scored evenly, although, of course, you know, you might want to individually, you know, put more emphasis on the taste rather than how it looks. But, you know, so there are my scores on the right. You can see that uh, Burger King came in first place with an 8. Uh, Wendy's and Arby's came in a very close uh, tie for second with 7.5. And McDonald's is right there in the middle with a 6.5. So, in conclusion, yeah, the... Big Fish was the best one, I think, but the Wendy's and the Arby sandwiches, they also did pretty well, and McDonald's, it's good. It's just, it's your standard. McDonald's is still my standard, even after this taste test. Of course, this was just my opinion, so what's yours? Leave it in the comments. Uh, of course, you know, I only mentioned, like, six restaurants, so there's also, you know, other national chains, Sonic, Whataburger. There's always, always, there's always your local, you know, restaurants, which probably make really good ones, too. Okay, this is just something I thought I'd share with you guys. This is Big Max saying... Later.